GPT-5 is far away, but what is the next big thing in AI? Yeah, let's hold on a second. Like, let's... Um, I'm urging people to, to digest the stuff a bit. There is so much information. So many things are going on all the time. And we're always like, what's next? What's the next big thing? When is GPT-5? When is GPT-7 coming? Mm. You know, it was it the was same with 5G. You know, 5G is coming. And then I believe it was Trump. He was like, we have to do 6G now. <laughs> and it's always like this. But uh, uh, the truth is, I went to when I went to San Francisco to a, one of the AI summits, uh, I met um, one of the co-founders of Langchain, which is basically a core library to use if you want to do anything with AI. And then he had this talk and it was about agents, 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 AI agents. And that was the first time I heard about agents, mm -hmm. right? I'm in the field. I have a startup in the field and I'm like, I heard it from him. Of course I did because he's, you know, leading the pack with his library. We are using his library. Yeah. But I went to him and I was like, why agents like like this is new to me please explain to me uh what is so important about agents we still don't know what non-agents are we still don't know how to use ai properly and we're already you know talking about the next thing and the next thing and yeah, the next thing okay. and this is the whole point of the story right e everybody is trying to advance it further and we don't have uh, don't give ourselves time to digest what we already have mm. We don't need agents before we understand uh, language models, right? We don't need GPT-5 before we understand GPT-4 well mm -hmm. enough. And um, I think we're not giving ourselves the time to uh, digest. Okay. 